Hello you beautiful creatures, how the devil are you? I hope you're well. If you're new here, my name is Lou or Lucifer, as my friends like to call me by my friends. I mean my Instagram account and my ever-growing army of demons. It is a sunny Sunday morning, wasn't always that way. It was horrendous this morning. Gareth just said hello to Michael by inside. We to find his are booth. at London Film and Comic Con, yes. Um, I'm a little bit shaky just because I've literally met Jamie Campbell Bauer. Um, he was, he was wonderful. We loved him. We chatted to him for a good, good God, five minutes. Good five, ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we were talking about like, you know, him getting back into his music, all the good stuff potentially coming to download, but you didn't hear that from me. Uh, we'll see. Let's spread that. Let's spread that rumor that Jamie Campbell Bauer is coming to download. But yes, we are here to, um, so I've got my photo up, so I'm going to do it with Jamie Campbell Bauer and David Tennant. We've just got our virtual queue tickets now. I say virtual queue tickets, they're not really virtual. Uh, we've got our queue tickets basically. The only issue is, so David Tennant is only taking Diamond Pass tickets at the moment, so we'll just have to see about that one. It is a case of we're gonna have to keep coming back and checking. Uh, we've got Paddy Constantine as well that we're going to go and meet. Yeah, so what I'd say is, if there is a guest coming that you really, really want to see that is quite high up, get the Diamond Pass because then you know you're hopefully going to be guaranteed to see that guest but yes we're going to have hopefully a wonderful day so have a horrible time in the best possible way also here is a quick view of what the convention looks like i feel it's a lot more spaced out than it was last time yeah the stage has moved that's where we came in last time oh yeah oh yeah of course it is so over there is actually where we came in um uh, the main stage is there now so we're going to we're going to do a tour of down below and up here just to kind of show you what's going on we're not going to do as in-depth as we did last time just because i feel like i'm literally showing you the same thing over and over again uh so if you want to check the more in-depth vlog uh, i'll pop that in the link down below for you you can see that but as you can see so for example for some of the stores we've got we have got prints we have got memorabilia oh they've got some props down there that's exciting uh we've got dvds we have got action figures we have also got autographs that uh, companies have collected just be careful with them because some of them do charge more than they should do i'm not trying to like you know excrement on anybody's business but i'm just yeah i'm just telling you to be careful so as what down below oh yeah that's cool uh they also have a apparent chill out area so down there they'll show you trailers from things that are going to happen in the future looks like they've got mario they're going to have the mario trailer um yeah so it's basically showing you what's happening kind of in the geek world we've got loads of vendors down there as well you get t-shirts you can get cosplays as well i'm going to try and look for some more unique stands for you just because a lot of them unfortunately are quite similar but we shall see we've got our virtual queue tickets now i say virtual queues they're literally not virtual we've got our queue tickets so we'll see what happens with that this vlog might be a little bit choppy but i am aware that a lot of people who do vlog conventions they literally do the start of it and then they do the end of it and I'm really not about that, so I'm going to show you what it's like. We want to tell you our experience. Yeah, we do. Unfortunately, um, I did have a diamond pass to meet Alice Cooper. That didn't happen. So, the only reason we've managed to come to this convention is because the money I'd spent on that diamond pass, I managed to get both of our entry tickets, I managed to get the photo op with Jamie Campbell Bauer and David Tennant as well. All the others we've kind of bought so that's the only reason why we've been able to do it this experience will determine whether we come back to uh london and film comic con just because there's been a lot of shady stuff going on but we'll get into that later because if you look yeah david tennant yeah photo david tennant photo yeah good omens green screen which i imagine again david tennant David Tennant. Yeah. David Tennant. Three doctors, so I'll be with David Tennant again. David Tennant. So basically what we're trying to say is... David Tennant. A lot 
of the photo ops are David Tennant. So literally, unless you've got a diamond pass, it's not guaranteed that you'll get an autograph with him just because he's in so many photos. But the problem is because he wasn't here on Saturday, so there isn't a split, there's not an equal split of photos and autograph sessions. Yeah, basically what this is, so it shows you your uh, photo booth A, photo booth B, uh, prop shoot as well, so if you've got a prop shoot, and then the main stage, so this is when they're going to be doing their talks, but these are the kind of pieces of paper you'll be looking for. They also have a floor plan plan on this side, so that's the top. here. Yeah, that's the top, and that's the bottom. Pretty self-explanatory, but... Um, yeah, so this gives you an idea of what the timings are. I like to think they try and stick to them, but yeah. Also, if you're looking to do your masquerade as well, that's where it is. So it's four o'clock onwards, and then from here it's ten past four. Interesting, very interesting. So we might not actually be able to get our autographs with David Tennant today. However, he does like to frequent uh, Wales Comic Con quite a lot. So that might be a case of we get it there, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm going to do a really artistic pan, like I'm in a nature documentary. And here we see the humble Gareth waiting for Michael Ironside. Gareth, what happened? So, so Michael Ironside is on break, which is fair enough. He's been here all week. Yeah, I understand that. But what they've done is they've moved Ty Tennant's queue all in front of Michael Ironside's mm -hmm. just being on the table. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the staff don't really know what's going on. Oh my god! It's almost like what happened last time. Ah! Live updates. Well, not really live because it isn't live, but yes, live ish updates. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yes, good content. We have Red Guy, whoever you are, well done. somebody just like rocked up to stand with their partner and you didn't say anything yeah. that's okay is it all right then cool 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 cool, cool. and then this place needs a limit on autographs yeah full maximum join the back of the queue for one more this guy had about i want to say 30 30 pieces to sign he also had little strips of paper with different quotes <laughs> with different quotes of what he wanted each autograph to say. So he's basically said to a load of his friends, I'm going to meet my blind side. Um, do you want me to get you, you an autograph from him? 
and that's basically what he's done which is wrong you shouldn't do it and i'm sorry but there should like gareth said there should be a limit on how many you can actually get yeah. apart from that you said he was lovely he was great honestly, i caught yeah. a little bit of it oh. i did i'm great um so unfortunately again with this venue with this event you can't actually film your meet you meeting them you can't have photos with people seems to be only certain events yeah. though eg show masters wonder why that is wales, do I know? wales as well wales sometimes yeah. some of them yes some of them no however a monopoly event um, if you ask basically the people who are with the guests, yeah. they will either say yes, that's fine, or no. But they'll be, they'll be polite about it. Yeah, they'll be polite about it. Something that a lot of the staff members seem to be lacking here. This, this, well, the showmasters event, the yeah. staff are... Some of them are great. There's a handful that were lovely, like the person who I was on Michael's table, the person who was on Paddy's table, and the person who was on Jamie's table. Yeah. They, the ones we've encountered there have been lovely, but those at their heads of the queue. The rest of them. Like the one at Michael Ironside, basically turning around, it's obviously saying, telling Lou to uh, sort off essentially, but also telling someone who's just asking a genuine question about David Tennant, just like, you're probably not going to get an autograph. No positivity whatsoever. Like, we're trying to remain hopeful because apparently he's a fast signer. Yeah, show masters. Sort your staff out. Sort yourself out. Sort yourselves out. Right, let's go down to the train. Yeah, we're going to go and do a tour now. So enjoy that. job I've got sense about me because the Lord is testing me oh, yeah, signed by Joseph Quinn mm, angry yeah, we've got the main stage and that's where all your talks will be so it tends to change every year now oh we got a cool photo up for Willow I've never personally seen Willow yes I know apologies uh, but Willow's coming out and then we've obviously got Puss and Boots as well not a fan of that, to be honest. I loved him in Shrek, but meh. Got more autographs. So this is the kind of cosplay areas we're looking at. You can buy your cosplays from here. Uh, we've got hoodies, we've got autographs, lots of autographs. Gareth adores a good autograph, don't you, baby? Oh, yeah. Oh, babe, look at that poster. No. Thousand House for Thousand Corpses, just there. Oh, damn. Don't look, don't look at the <laughs> These are cool. They're all spray painted. Nice. Ooh, that Eddie one's nice. I cannot wait to watch this film. Santa in a home invasion movie. Yes, please. And it's David Harbour, no less. We've also got mystery bags as well. Now, I've heard from a lot of people that mystery bags at conventions are a catch-22. Sometimes you get some really good stuff. Sometimes, oh my Lord, uh, sometimes you don't. 
can we just talk about how pretty the Christmas decorations are? I'm a little bit obsessed. The only place you can see a Dalek coming out the lift. So, um, it's been a hot second since we last spoke to you. Um, I just met David Tennant and I, 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 I cried. I cried at him. Uh, it was it was ugly, but he it, it was beautiful. And I'm uh, I'm a little bit all over the place at the moment, as you can probably tell. Uh, it's been there's been a lot that's happened. There's been a lot. Uh, I've also had my photo up with Jamie Campbell Bauer, which I will put here. Um, it's ugly, and I love it. I literally said, "Can I hug you?" And he was like, "Absolutely, you can." And it was the best moment of my life. Well, one of the best moments of my life. Um, yeah, so I'm so sorry that there's been like a massive time skip. It's just because we've been here, there, and everywhere. Um, oh, we've just been sat down doing nothing. Well, yeah, pretty much. So for most of it, we've actually just been sat doing sweet FA, to be perfectly honest, uh, because we've been waiting so long for David, uh, David Tennant. So the situation was he had nine diamond pass groups. Yeah, I thought it was more than that. Ten. About 10 or 11 diamond pass groups. We literally had to wait for, we've been waiting for about three hours. And the last thing I wanted was to show you guys like us waiting. Um, and then everything kind of all kicked off at once. So then we had to do um, my photo up with uh, David Campbell Bauer. Now, Jamie Campbell Bauer, Jamie Campbell Bauer, David Campbell Bauer. Uh, and now we're going to go and do the photo op with David Tennant as well. So, yeah, it's it's been mad. It's been absolutely mad. But one thing I will say is, this is what you've got to contend with for the photo ops. This is mad. Yeah, twinsies. <laughs> Hell on shirt, sponsor us for God's yeah. sake. <laughs> nice, I'm loving the fashion, loving it. <laughs> but yes, this is literally what you've got to contend with. It is absolutely mental. To be fair, the staff have done an okay job of like keeping everything somewhat organised. But yeah, uh, if you have got a photo up, get there early. That's that's my main advice. If you're here. For David Tennant, keys away. That's <laughs> five. Nice and gentle. That's five. Come forward. So, wow. Well, you calm down now. I, I cried so freaking much. I've been waiting 16 years to do that. Yes. I've been waiting 16 years to meet David Tennant. That says something. And he was everything I wanted him to be and more. So I'll pop the picture down here so you can see that. Um, after I had the picture, I literally said, um, is it okay if I hug you? He was like, yeah, 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 of course. And I literally said to him, um, thank you for making the world a little bit brighter. He was like, honestly, don't worry about him. Um, so humble. But yeah, he was so freaking humble. And the fact that he's literally the busiest guest here, hands down. They got through his queue line like oh, yeah. it was nobody's business. It's it was. Like, it's just as fast as for looking for it. Yeah. Like that was so well organised and honestly we have Andrew to thank for that. Who we put a little homage to here. We've actually told him, if you're watching the vlog, hello Andrew. Um, yes, we've put a homage to Andrew because he, he is what convention staff should be everyone should aspire to be like Andrew he was just he's funny he's informative he knows what he's talking about he's passionate about the product but more importantly he cares about the customers and that is so important but yeah thank you so much Andrew we really appreciate it but what we're going to do now is we're just going to have another wander 
and then we're gonna head off just because realistically there's nothing we really want to buy um the autographs and the photo ops cost us quite a bit as you can imagine but yes it's been it's been a 50 50 day but we'll talk about that later on we're just looking at the you know what <gasps> david norton yeah i've got him we're uh, we're just having a look at the autographs really that because one gareth is a little bit of a hoarder but then again so am i there was one keith david which i know you all like yeah so this is the only store you've managed to really find any, any horror horror autographs from so good for them i guess they've got a website as well yeah damn that's um you're next see look Nev Campbell. Sydney. I need Nev Campbell for my collection. You're doing great, sweetie. Tobin Bell. Yeah. Sabini. Incidentally, we've heard uh, interesting reports about Tom Sabini not wanting to do that brilliant to do conventions over here. So, please comment down below if you know what that's about. This is just rumours we've heard more than anything. Whee! Hopefully I haven't got rid of it because it's a green. I just can't stop looking at that John Hurt one. They've also, which is really cool. Good Lord. Um, oh yeah. So, what they also have is a Beckett's here. That's right, Beckett's, isn't it? So Beckett's, what that does is, say for example, you buy an autograph from a vendor, you go over to Beckett's and they will basically say whether it's legit or not. These will have a certificate of authenticity with them. Yeah. Beckett's is if you get one from a guest. Right, so okay. You from a guest, then you can go get it to... Oh, uh, well, I see. That creep show one's amazing. Yeah. they've got some really good ones here i think my holy grail would be two vincent price and christopher lee we have seen a christopher lee we have seen a christopher lee is that possible who knows but we'll find out in the future at some point and we are done i am exhausted this one is exhausted uh we've just been to a service station now uh absolutely scarfed down a kfc like the absolute ferals that we are and talked about what we yeah kind of what we enjoyed about the day what we didn't enjoy about the day and we've kind of come to a mutual decision that it was a 50 50. so the guests the guests absolutely made it. If you've got the if you've got the chance to meet David Tennant, Jamie Campbell Bower, uh, Paddy Constantine, Constantine, depend, Constantine, Constantine, Constantine. Uh, some people call him Constantine. Those people are strange. Uh, yeah, um, if you got the chance to meet them, and you said Michael Ironside, mm. you really enjoyed him. Yeah. Um, if you got the chance to meet them, please do. However, we literally said that that was the only main positive of the day, apart from Andrew. Yeah, Andrew was great. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't just depend on the guests. I don't think personally. I don't think that you know. There were a lot of people that were miserable, and not happy, I don't know. The exit there was there was a very board. off vibe, very off, um, not happy. The queuing for the photo ops was intense. I mean, to be fair, it went down quite quickly. However, it's the same old issue of they've oversold. Multiple times they'd oversold. Um, people kind of went over their time slots so david tennant unfortunately he was amazing like he was fantastic and so accommodating he literally cut his lunch break short to get through all the diamond passes there were 10 diamond pass um slots all together and then it was virtual queue tickets and i do have to say a massive shout out we met this group of lovely ladies so it was two ladies and a girl and they were wonderful absolutely wonderful they sat with us whilst we um 
waited for David Tennant, but they also gave us virt some virtual queue tickets that were shorter times, earlier. earlier slots than the ones we had, and honest to God, thank you, thank you so much, like your kindness was just thank you, and they were wonderful, they had some great stories, they were a great yeah. laugh, lovely people, if you do watch this vlog let me know, say hello, I didn't catch your names unfortunately, I'm so sorry about that, um, also the lovely people we stood with outside, there were two lads and one lady and they were just a riot, they were great, so yeah, if you see this vlog, hello, it was great, most... <laughs> The people we spoke to were lovely, but unfortunately, a lot of the people who were just wandering around the con, especially diamond pass holders, were very entitled. Very entitled, and it's just very like, much like a full of horror. yeah, and it's just like, yes, I understand that you've paid for the privilege, but don't be rude about it. Like there was one guy. Oh you'll love this so there was one guy um we were in the queue for paddy constantine and he had a diamond pass fine fair enough you know you've paid for the privilege anyway we said you know absolutely fine you've paid for it anyway his poor attempt at a joke he turns around to grabs it to gareth grabs his poster holder and goes oh yeah while while you're here make yourselves useful pushes the poster holder onto Gareth and our faces just dropped and he realised he'd messed with the wrong people because he was like oh no 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 I'm just joking I'm just joking right okay cool cool just be you know what there was no need for it like yes he was probably trying to be funny but it was just not he didn't read the room at all um he was very rude so yeah, just, if you go into a convention, doesn't matter if you've got a diamond pass, doesn't matter if you have, just be considerate. We're all there for the same reason. Just be, just be kind, just be mindful that there's people around you. So with the photo op area, there was a lot of people that were sat down and it's like, I'm not being funny or anything. You're gonna get trodden on. You're gonna get trodden on. People are gonna literally fall over you. There's also, um, mobility scooters and wheelchairs that need to get around and you're literally in their way i understand that you're tired but find somewhere else to sit that's what can also can be put down on the show masters that they need to move the photo up area yeah i feel like it's too cramped far too cramped there because last year they had three uh, studios in that space i don't know how it coped yeah because did i i had a photo up didn't i we both nick, did nick frost. yeah nick frost I don't know. I don't know about that. I think I think it was just down to a lot of overselling, putting in the wrong places, and yeah, I don't know. Um, and st and some staff members just being... Awful. Yeah, some staff members were really rude. So I went to get the virtual queue ticket for Paddy, mm. and the woman just looks at me. And I'm like, is this for Paddy Considine? And she went, yeah. Can I have a virtual queue ticket? Oh, you want one? Yes, we do. Also, wasn't there one uh, staff member where it was like, yeah, we've got a virtual queue ticket. You know, we are we are cautiously optimistic. Um, Andrew was amazing with the Andrew virtual queue. Great. If it wasn't for him, that queuing system would have been shot to... Yeah, Andrew was the most on it. Yeah. Um, and I think it also props to David as well for the signing because he was... Even though he was ploughing through everybody, not literally, family channel. I guys, wish. Get your brains out the gutter. He was, he was quick with yeah. signing, but he still took time with everyone. Yeah. He still took time. And what was it, what Andrew said, and then we had, there were 350 Diamond Pass tickets, too many in my honest opinion, but he did 145 minutes. That is some going, and at the end of the day, we've got to keep in mind, and maybe you guys agree, is that they're only human at the end of the day. Yeah, God, yeah. I mean, poor Michael Ironside. Oh, no. There was this absolute moron. 
one that went up to him had about 40 autographs with like different individual messages he wanted written on all of them i'm not being funny or anything but just because you go into a convention doesn't mean that you did you should take a request from every tom dick and harry his auntie and his dog to get an autograph he had cramp by the end of it. He was like, yeah. you know, waving his hand around and he was just not happy. He was he, not he did, happy. He did joke when um, he asked uh, for my name. And he went, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was a lovely guy to talk to, especially hearing about Top Gun. Because that that's, even though I've seen him in Starship Troopers, my main memory of him is in Top Gun. Yeah, but you love Top Gun, don't I love you? Top Gun. Yeah. Hearts in the chat now. <laughs> so we, we've, we've basically said, like, because I'm on a massive Chuck Steele Night of the Trampires binge at the moment, I was like, this is, Chuck Steele is my version of Top Gun. Gareth will never watch it. Never. And I will never watch Top Gun. Except ever. for Kenny Loggins. Except for Kenny Loggins, because great singer anyway i digress by the way. um so yeah we're gonna leave it here just because it's going on for nearly nine nine minutes but yes we we had an interesting one if you want us to do a more in-depth video about what we thought please let us know we're more than happy to do that um we are going to do an in-depth video at the end of the year about our top con so we're going to do a... Well, we do our top experience. Yeah, so our top experience is our top five, or putting five in order. This is going to be, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, probably on one of the lower sides. But we'll see, we'll see. But yes, we had a fantastic time with the guests, with the people we met. Um, we got recognised again. Yes, we got recognised from HorrorCon. So yes, thank you very much. I didn't catch your name, sir, but thank you very much for coming and chatting to us. If you do see us out and about, or you do see us at conventions, come over and say hello. Like, we'd love to have you on the channel. We'd love to have photos, this, that, and the other. It's getting to a point now where it's getting real, and I love that. I really do love that. But yes, here's to many, many more conventions. Um, for the love of sci-fi, two weeks. <laughs> yes, for the love of sci-fi is next. We're very excited about that because that is by the same company who did For the Love of Horror. Um, and we adored them. We absolutely, we were saying that For the Love of Horror has actually spoiled us for conventions yeah. because of how good they were. Um, Mads Mickelson. Uh, Mads Mickelson. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you've had a good day. If not, that's okay. Always remember, tomorrow's a new day. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.